Successful investors can use a number of strategies to manufacture equity and, and capital growth in a property uh, fairly quickly. So here are some of my uh, top tips. One is firstly to buy wholesale, uh, buy under market values, so chase uh, distressed sales um, and opportunities like our group lock opportunities where you are buying in bulk over a million dollars and you're only competing with less than 10% of the marketplace rather than buying at the median price range, 600, 700,000, say in Melbourne, where you're competing with 80%. So firstly, you make money when you buy well, not when you sell. Secondly, um, add value through some renovations. Internal and external cosmetic renovations can be a surefire way to increase your property's value overnight. Um, so look at ways to add value um, outside and increase the aesthetic street appeal of that property as well as internally um, some additions. Obviously the wet areas, the kitchens and bathrooms are, are areas where you can add a lot of instant value. Also look at opportunities potentially to, to subdivide the land and, and be able to uh, basically increase the value of those subdivided lots. Um, or even add value by putting in certain areas on license agreements in a block of units where you could add courtyard areas or car parks or laundries on license agreements. This can increase the property's value um, overnight. Another way is to actually apply for permits. If you've got a property that has some land, apply for permits to actually add value to that land by putting on another unit at the back or adding more units or doing a unit development there. So that can be a great way uh, to be able to sell the property at an increased value because it now has added value with the permit. Lastly, um, once you get your permit, you can also go ahead and do a development. So by adding value with the permit and then by developing the land to its maximum, um, say you're increasing it from one house um, and putting four or five units on it or more, um, you're able to increase the value of that land and be able to develop the individual units and uh, hopefully, as a developer does, uh, make at least 20% profit margin um, by developing the land and then selling off the development units yourself um, rather than, in the previous tip, um, getting the permits and then selling it off um, with the permits, you're actually going ahead and doing the development. Hope you got some information from our investor tips um, and we'll see you next time.